What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of SonoraRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. You guys, as I do Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content in videos. So if that is what you're into, please do hit that subscribe button and give me a little thumbs up on this video. It really helps me out. I do pretty much post a new video every single day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, you guys. Today I am here to cut up my new sets of ephemera. I have three new sets of ephemera, um, number 54, which is 24 pages of my own personal ephemera stash. Hi, Jen. Um, and I have scanned them at high resolution. Everything is crystal clear. I don't think um, this is just really good quality since I was able to uh, control it all myself. So they print out really, really nicely. Um, if you want to check them out, my shop, let me see, I'm trying to like <clears throat> post the links, I guess maybe one by one would be best. This is number 54, which is the one I'm showing you right now, which is the one that has 24 pages of um, ephemera bits, tickets, receipts, um, everything that, that came in, <laughs> basically everything that came in that one ephemera set that I, the couple of ephemera sets that I purchased online a couple of weeks ago, I was finally able to get them scanned and arranged and um, put in my store. So I'm really excited. This is what we're going to be cutting out. Um, I have also printed this same kit here um, out on coffee dyed paper. So I'm going to cut these out. The idea is that these ones right here are for collaging. And then these ones right here are to actually go in my journal. So I printed uh, lines in the back, on um, the back of the pages. I can use them in my journals. Um, that This lined paper is also in my store. And then the other sets that I have are these sets right here, which are basically... Um, two ephemera images, two vintage images side by side, um, basically arranged so that you can put them in a signature. So, you know, one side will be on one side of the signature and the other will be on the other. This has a bunch of handwritten notes as well as vintage images. So I really like when I do this style of printable because I can add like a huge vintage advertisement to my journal. And again, that's going to be set 55 and 56 um, that are like this. And they print out 20 pages each. And again, this is just like perfect. You can either use them to collage with, or you can use them in your signature side by side. A lot of receipts, and again, like handwritten notes, some letters, um, some forms. Just really cool vintage stuff um, that I thought would look really cool. Yeah, and I also have the, the letters that I wrote, the letters that I found that were basically like uh, a summary of everything that was in the room. So these are pretty cool. So I'll be cutting these ones at the end, though. I'm more excited about the ephemera for collaging right now. These are pretty straightforward to cut. Right now I want to focus on set 54. Hi Miss CG. Patricia, did I say hi Patricia? Julie, I just use regular pen or paper girl. I don't try and worry about weight. I just print on regular printer paper or cardstock. Either one, it really just depends on what you're going to do with it. For example, these uh, uh, these are from right here are on printer paper that's coffee dyed. This is just regular printer paper. I didn't take anything special. This is just on printer paper that I'm going to collage. Um, and then I'm also going to print up this same set in cardstock. So I print it on all sorts of different um, white paper. But I definitely... Um, do you have, I like to mix it both, cardstock and printer paper. And I really don't worry about too much the quality. I got some hot chocolate here. <laughs> it's, it's cold out there, y'all. 
I know it's not as cold as it is everywhere else where there's like 30 inches of snow or something. I do like to cut out my images like this first. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut them out. I didn't exactly line them all up straight perfectly. So it is what it is here. Most of them are straight, but like these little tickets couldn't get them perfectly straight, but that's okay. And I'm not going to use my scanning cut on these because they're pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward cuts, right? Just like squares and stuff. So there's nothing fancy to this. I just can't wait to, um, to actually use these in a collage. But first, of course, you got to cut them out. <laughs> These, I got a bunch of these little tickets. So I went ahead and scanned them all individual. They all have different like little numbers. Mmm, hot chocolate. Swiss Miss hot chocolate. That was a dollar. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. So this is what I spent all day today doing. Basically preparing these files. Yesterday I spent the whole day um, scanning and preparing the files to print. And today I spent the whole day preparing the files to put up for sale, the, the profile, the, the listing images and all that. And I literally just finished. And I said, time to cut. Time to cut it up. You had hot chocolate too? It's just that kind of day. It's just that kind of day. I am trying, girl. I'm trying. But this set, I'm, I'm so excited to collage. You don't even know. You don't even know. I've been wanting little things like this. And of course I got them in real life, but I don't want to, I don't want to use the real ones first, especially not to collage. Well, not yet. I'm not ready to part with them yet, but now that I have them copied, now I can do it now that they're copied. I bought me a little Christmas mug at the dollar store, if you can see it. I turn it, but it's gonna spill out. It's these like really cute poinsettias. Love it. Now I have a Christmas mug. Oh, this episode is gonna be action packed. <laughs> action packed. And this paper cutter is totally overkill for this. But my other paper cutter, it kind of, it just, I need a new blade. Let's just say that. Long story short, I need a new blade. So what's how do you think about your hobby? Well, he's always been super supportive. Even right now it's my job. But when it was my hobby, he was even super supportive then. He always likes he always knew I was creative I went to school for um graphic design I've always you know been making stuff designing stuff and um, when I got into scrapbooking <laughs> I got into it a little bit crazy and for some reason like every time I get a new hobby I have to buy a new desk I don't know what it is about me but like when I was into makeup I had to buy a makeup and then I was, then I, uh, I got into scrapbooking, so I had a, a scrapbooking desk. <laughs> He's always been super supportive about it. He loves um, watching me make stuff, and he's really, like, proud of me when I, uh, when I make something really cute. And, like, uh, for a while there, I was going to like craft fairs. I was trying to sell my um, greeting cards 
and oh my god <laughs> i am not good at like selling my skills like i'm not good at like talking about how great i am or like how how great my designs are <laughs> I don't do that very well. So, um, when I would <laughs> when I would go off to like the bathroom or something, or to get something to eat or whatever, um, when I would leave the booth, he would um, sell my cards to people, and I would come back and he'd be telling people how great I was and how wonderful my cards are, and I'd be like, oh my god, so embarrassed. <laughs> He's really sweet. He's always supportive of uh, pretty much anything I I uh, am into. And I, I pretty much have taken over the biggest part of the last couple of places that we've moved into to be my crafting space. So he puts up with it. <laughs> he puts up with it very, very well. Hi, Erin. Did I miss Beverly? Did I miss Beverly? Hi, Beverly. What's up, girl? Get these little tickets right here. The little tickets. They look so cute. Let me, oh, yeah. It's right here. Y'all want to check out my shop where I have the um, the new listing. This is a new listing here. Yes, I am, Letitia. I really am. I know. I try to be as, uh, as supportive to him about whatever he's into also. That's why we work, you know? That's why we work. I need a round edger for this one. And he always puts up with my mess. <laughs> I'm so lucky because the other day I was telling about how messy my room was <laughs> my craft room. And he's like, well, your craft room is supposed to be messy. And I'm like, yes, that's the right answer. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> And Letitia, I didn't ever just read your comment. I didn't say hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. The tickets. You could just put these in like a little pocket, but I'm definitely ready to collage something together. Really? I know. Okay, so I'm at that page. Okay, these ones are pretty straight here. Again, this paper cutter is totally overkill for this. <laughs> But it's what I got right now. It's what I'm working with right now. There we go. My links don't show up. <clears throat> Who has not seen my links? Jen, they don't work for you? That's weird. Okay. Uh, do you mean like when I just, okay, I just posted a link. Do you mean like when I post a link here in the chat, Jen? This one is a big receipt here. I've always seen this receipt, these receipts online. I've never held one in my hands, and I have some. And I think I ordered some more. <laughs> I'm buying vintage if I'm really crazy. 
but I t I'm not looking forward to actually using it. But I do have to use the real stuff. I'm just so used to like using printables <laughs> where I don't have to worry about it. Like, I'll just print out another one. But the real one, it's like, ugh, I don't know if I want to use it. Not that a receipt from 1919 is worth more than 10 cents, really. So I can't be too scared of it. Buy a whole pile of it for $20, so it's really only worth like 10 cents. <laughs> Gigi, you can't see? What the heck? There's, there's nothing I'm doing different. There's nothing I'm doing different. And Miss Gigi can't see it either. That's weird. That is not cool. Patricia, can you post uh, uh, the link to my shop? And just type in scenarios.net, but go to the, the browser and then you can type in the pattern address. That's so weird. Or find the um, Facebook group. I just want to test and see if it's just me. I mean, I didn't change anything. So that is weird and unfortunate. I will have to fix it. I will have to see. This one's not. <laughs> I'll just cut it like that, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job at making a puzzle out of that one. So weird. Have to I don't know what I do about that, but maybe contact YouTube somehow. Again, the set that I'm cutting up right now comes with 24 pages of ephemera. And I scammed all of this in myself, so it's really good quality, of course, of course. I always make sure my stuff is good quality and high, high resolution. However, I was actually able to control all that this time. Oh, I think there might be a rain today. Patricia, no, I don't see your link. I don't. It rained today for, I don't even know how long. It was a very light rain. I must have been asleep or something. I don't know. And um, so there might be snow in the mountains. It's been cold. It's been cold enough. Okay, Beverly, you're having the same issue? Okay. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Y'all know my shop. I'm just kidding. The, the link is down in the description box below as well if you can't um, get to it. Oh, I can't wait to use these little tickets. It snowed. Oh, yeah, the East Coast got like crazy snow. I can't imagine. I literally cannot. I don't know what that is like. That is like insane to me. So sorry if y'all can't see the links. Um, if you can go to the description box below, the link is there. I don't know what to do about YouTube. Tell them to fix it. Um, y'all got like two feet of snow or something crazy like that. It looks so pretty for the painter's level. I can't even imagine. I don't. My brain literally cannot wrap around that idea. <laughs> Let's see 
Okay, Jen, thank you for letting me know. Hopefully they fix it soon, because what the heck? What the heck, YouTube? One hour away from us, they got eight inches of snow. How about no? <laughs> How about no thank you? Like I imagine it looks gorgeous, but then the idea that I have to like leave my house to go to work or to go do whatever, like that just does not sound like fun. I am not down for that. Like no. Like just no. I'm not into snow. <laughs> like four or five inches here. That's crazy. South of Jersey, they only got rain. <laughs> Hi, Violet. How are you? How are you today? Pages. And I printed like 15 other pages, so I got like 40 pages to cut out. Ha. Ha. Glad to hear you're well. Right? Me too, Patricia. I can't. I cannot fathom. Nor would I want to live through snow. I can't. <laughs> I just, I, I yeah. How about no? Other places sound really pretty, but <clears throat> I just feel so safe. <laughs> I feel so safe here in the desert. Like, we don't get no hurricanes, we don't get no floods, we don't get no. I try to ask for it, I'm just saying, I'm like, I like that. <laughs> I know it's hot in the summer, but that's fine. I can deal with that too. I'll deal with that instead of hurricanes. Fine. Or blizzards, but I can't. Jen, where do you live again? This little ticket is so cute. Look at my pile here. It looks so cute, my pile. I love it. The quality looks so good. I'm really, <clears throat> really glad I was able to scan these. And I'm going to scan my next batch, too. I don't know when they'll be here because the USPS is crazy right now. But I have a new batch of ephemera coming in. And I can scan it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I still have to build up the courage to use the real ephemera. I did already, but it was just like a letter. <sighs> it's real hard. It's real hard. I'm only working three days next week before I take 14 day vacation. Dang, huh? 
That's the last time I hot cocoa here with that. I love this little hand stamp right there. They still have to do, you know, obviously work with them digitally too also. So I'm excited for that. Tomorrow I'm going to work on Kelly Snow's um, items that I scanned from her. And um, then i got to ship them back to her. <laughs> Yes, send them on home. They're fabulous, though. I really need them to be out of my house because they, they're so, like, dainty. I just don't want to be responsible for their damage. I've been so careful with them. But they're so old. They're literally falling apart sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, so this will have to be something that's cut up by hand. did have a lot of these blue tickets and I also scanned the back of them so you'll see them a lot in this kit what's going to happen with your ladies upcoming holiday a whole lot of nothing <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. I'm going to go live, that's for sure. I'm going to go live. I'm going to do a little craft thing. I don't know. I don't know how. What else? Just chilling at home. Oh, you're in Ohio, Jen? Okay. Yeah, I assume. You get, you get snow too, right? Ohio gets snow. I'm not very good at, I'm very cultured, but I think Ohio gets snow. Okay, so, get rid of these scraps. Now that Violet doesn't have to leave her house, she wants snow. <laughs> Oh, Jen, and you for sure get snow. Ah, ha, ha, where you live. You're visiting Ohio on holiday. I hear you, I hear you. Telephone company. Yeah, these are receipts. Receive payment as called for by this notice. To October 1st, 1919. Check that out. Nobody is really on restrictions. They just ask nicely, but they're not gonna they're not gonna make you stay home really. <laughs> That's everything. Oh, I need to get my edge rounder punch thingy. My corner punch thingamajiggy. Okay, let me go get it. Okay. I 
have some of my grandmother's paste though. Can I just look over my freaking footstool? Oh, and it collapsed. <laughs> Falling apart. Um, if you need any scanner is good, girl. Really, any scanner is good. You don't have to be like, oh, it's not good enough. Any scanner is good. I never met a scanner I didn't like. It's all in the options, you know? What? Okay, there we go. I was using it wrong. It's not the right size, I don't know. I don't know what I did. <sighs> Daisy, you walk like an old lady, but that's not your walk. Yeah, I do. Probably, because I'm dragging my slippers. <laughs> well, you're calling me out because that's what I am. <laughs> I'm not a spring chicken anymore. <laughs> that's okay. It helps me get out of things. So, oh, I'm too old to do that. And it's okay because I'm too old. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have a cheap printer? <clears throat> There's, my printer is like $200. All printers are actually pretty good these days. There's always some like hidden settings that make it run a little bit better. So if you think your printer is not working very well, maybe look up on YouTube like your printer. Somebody might have some tips. Somebody. And as far as what do we eat for Christmas, since I'm Mexican... <clears throat> we usually have tamales. <laughs> tamales and pozole. Or, what's the other one I don't like? There's pozole and there's there's another soup, the, the one that I don't like. And then we also have pan dulce and, and that wet cake I don't like. There's leches. Me, my family makes this bomb punch. It's got like sugar canes, apples, I think like peaches too. Some like Mexican fruit they put in there. That is like my favorite thing, having that punch and then you get like a chunk of sugar cane. That's the best. Me too, John. I, was to, I only like my mom's tamales, really. I love my mom's tamales. Everybody else's tamales is like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. And my mom only makes tamales. Like, she only really likes to make tamales with this. There's some, like, bakery in my hometown in California that they swear has the best dough. Best masa. And she, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. She feels a difference. <laughs> so she hasn't even made them lately because we haven't even gone out there. So I need to ask her to make some. And sometimes there's like turkey. <laughs> sometimes there's turkey. <laughs> and definitely there's tacos. There's always tacos. There's always tacos around. What is tamale? Tamale is a corn 
meal. Okay, so it's like a husk of a corn, corn husk that's dried. And they spread cornmeal dough. And you put in some like, uh, you can put in meat. Or sometimes they put in chilies and cheese in the middle of the dough. They wrap it up. They close the, the, the corn husk. And then they steam it. So it's like a Mexican like dumpling almost like, you know, because it's steamed. So it's like a dumpling, but it's made out of cornmeal. <clears throat> Menudo, that's the one I don't like. I don't like menudo. I like pozole. I do not like menudo. Like, I don't want to eat stomach lining. No! I can't. I can't. Just the idea that it's cow's stomach lining, I just can't do it. But pozole, that's bomb. Sometimes I make it with turkey, chicken. I think I also make it with beef, too. But I like chicken or turkey. It's so good. I'm totally spoiled. Two homemade tamales from people I know. Yes. <laughs> it is a lot of work because my mom can't make like a dozen tamales. That woman has to make like a hundred thousand dozen tamales. <laughs> and you literally keep them frozen and you can eat them for like a whole year. <laughs> and it's like the best. It's just the best. Yes, the sole. That's my shiz. I love it. Gotta have the sole. But I always forget what it's called. And I always, my mom, like, I always ask my mom, like, which one is it, the one that I like? And she's like, the sole. And I'm like, yes, that one. <laughs> oh, my God. I love all the grass. My mom makes the best. And you, I try and make it, I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Nothing like my mom, you know? Let's see here. This is cute. It's from this little notebook um, about, chill, like, boys' clothing. And so right here, it says a handy size record of your boy's apparel. So you'd measure, it says name. So if you have different boys, you can have their measurements here. That's cute. Hi, Emily. It's not snowing in Las Vegas, that's for sure. Two years ago, it did snow, I think. Two years or more. Or was it like 2008 or something? It did snow a while ago. There was like four inches. <laughs> it does snow here. Every once in a blue moon it snows. Letitia is supposed to snow there tomorrow. Oh, God. <laughs> but I'm like stressed out for y'all. Like I can't imagine. <laughs> Just snow sounds like the worst thing in the world to me. <laughs> it really is to me. I can't think of anything worse. And 100 degrees to me. I take that over snow. I can't. <laughs> I love living in the desert. Uh, my favorite cheat meal to learn from my ex-mother-in-law is fried potatoes with ground beef and ranch beans. Oh, that's my husband. One of my husband's um, favorite meals that my mom makes is turkey and potatoes. There's no beans in it, but she makes it. She, she does crazy things to it. It tastes so good. <laughs> and it's my husband's favorite dish. If she knows we're coming over um, and we haven't come over in a while, she'll make that for my husband because she knows he loves it. Here. You can't do the heat, Zena. I can't do the cold. I can't. I I can't. I can't. <laughs> so 
Sometimes that heat feels good. I don't know. Call me crazy. Maybe I've been on here too long. But that heat feels good sometimes. Like, I get cold real fast. And sometimes I hate it just feels like a little blanket. Like, I love it. <laughs> probably, she's probably like, that's disgusting. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I can't wait till it's over. Like, my, my winners, girl, my winners, high of like 55. Get out of here. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It hasn't, it hasn't even gotten that cold yet. To me, that cold is when I can see my breath. If I can see my breath when I go outside, I'm like, oh, shh. Like, it's real cold right now. Like, it's, this is real. Like, it's cold. That means it's cold to me. If I can see my breath, that's, that's all I need to be cold. It's too cold. It's too cold then. I think if it snowed where you're at, Daisy, randomly, you probably freak out. Are you kidding me? Last, okay, so for last Thanksgiving, my husband thought it would be a great idea to drive on Thanksgiving Day to Los Angeles. That was the worst idea ever. Okay, so like already that's the worst idea ever. But like little did we know that it was going to snow. It was literally snowing in the desert area between Las Vegas and California last Thanksgiving. And um, it was a disaster because people out here don't know how to drive in snow. And we don't know what's going on. And so it was super slow to get there. It was insane. It was insane coming back. It was just crazy the whole way. We got stuck up in the mountains like I routed us. <laughs> it was totally me. I routed us up this like mountain, like off-road situation that I thought would be faster. Well, everybody else thought it would be faster too. And uh, we got, st I'm not going to say we got stuck up there because I mean, we didn't get stuck up there, but like they made us turn back. So all that progress that we had even made. They told us to go back because we didn't have snow tires. I don't know anything about snow tires. Like, <sighs> that was terrible. I was, I was freaking out. I was freaking out, and I wasn't even driving. Like, at one point, my husband was like, do you think we need to get gas? Do you think we should go turn back and get gas? And I literally, I turned into, like, a six-month-old, and I literally, I told him, I said, I don't know. I'm really scared. I don't know. I was no help. It was terrible. I was not a very good adult. <laughs> I was just like, make choices, but I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, it was it was terrible. It was just bad, y'all. <laughs> it was it was bad. Last year was bad. <laughs> so this year, I don't I don't I didn't hear of any snow between here and California. Of course, this year, but last year when we went, aside from going on Thanksgiving Day, on Thanksgiving Day, we didn't even leave early. So we got there like very late. <laughs> and uh, I was scared out of my mind the whole time. It normally takes us like four hours to get there, y'all. It took us like eight hours to get there that day. Literally eight hours, y'all. Because traffic, and we were, like, stuck waiting for a long time to get back to the freeway. Because we went basically off-roading, and we didn't have snow tires. So it was, it was a very confusing time. Very confusing time. Yeah, well, I didn't know it was going to be snowing. Nobody knew. It does not snow there. But And then my husband noticed. He's like, well, I always wondered why they said icy roads. <laughs> He was like, I always wondered why that sign was there. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's why, I guess. I'm not used to that at all. Hey, Chris, what's up? I mean, I have driven back and forth between Las Vegas and California almost like half my life, like almost half my life since I was like, 13, 14, 15, like 15 probably. I've been 
going back and forth from Las Vegas to California. And I've never seen it snow ever there, ever, like never, ever, ever. So to me, that's not even a possibility. And then it happened. And I was like in the middle of it, like, oh, my God. Oh my god. So yeah, I would freak out. <laughs> You're darn straight I would freak out. <laughs> okay, here now the hot chocolate's got me warm. Let me take off my sweater. Okay. Okay. This could also go in the middle of a signature. It'd be kind of cute. There's like a pamphlet on what is it like insurance or something? Home insurance. Daisy, how do you store audio from it? These um are going in. I have a bin of my printables. So here's what I have. I have this bin. Let's see if I can show you better like this. And this is where I put like all of my designs and stuff. And it's my stuff. And usually I have it all cut up. I have to obviously work on this. Usually, like, I have it all cut up, ready to go for whenever I'm ready to decorate envelopes over here, and then the little stuff over here. So, it'll all go. This, if I'm right here, I might put it in a plastic bag because it's specifically for um, collaging. So, it has, like, a very specific use. But something like this, I would just put in here. Like, I'd fold it so it doesn't fit. But I would just put it in there, especially that one because it's really big. Um, but yeah, this is where they're going to go. <sighs> okay. We're back here. <laughs> okay. I'm really more excited to use the cut up printable ephemera than I am to use the originals. Because <laughs> again, once this is gone, I'll print out some more. But once the original is gone, it's gone. <laughs> but again, I'm trying to um, get out of my initial excitement. And it's not so, like a collectible for me. It's a supply. So it's meant to be used, right? So I got to use it. Not, it's not part of my collection or anything like that, so it needs to get most of it. I'm just gonna clip it into um, journals. Um, I don't know about collage. I am gonna collage with that thin tissue paper one. Um, but uh, if I can, I'll just um. Just put it in the journal with a clip or in a pocket or something. Emily, they're all dead, girl. What do you think? What do you think about that? <laughs> they all died. Literally, I have one aloe left and that's it. I killed them all. You know what? It's, it's really hard to keep things alive in 100 degree weather because they get just like so... Annoying. <laughs> like, they look thirsty, you water them, and then they die. And it's like, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> aloe is wonderful. My aloe has been wonderful. My aloe is the most low-maintenance plant. I hardly even have to water it, and it's fine. It's the best. I love my aloe. Um, Daisy, have you ever get tired of your work sometimes? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Sometimes I do. I, sometimes I have nothing to do. Like, I'll think of stuff to do, and I just can't come up with anything. So I just don't go live. It happens. <laughs> and uh, I have taken breaks before, weeks. 
I don't think I've ever taken a month long break or anything more like that because obviously I had to work to make money. Um, but uh, yeah, I do. Sometimes I get a little bored of things. And sometimes I'll take a break and sometimes I'll organize things and sometimes I'll sit here and cut stuff out. <laughs> There's always something to do. You know, when I get bored of something, you know, if I get bored of actually making junk journals, I'll just work on ephemera. And if I get sick of ephemera, I'll work on a junk journal without like having to finish it. I don't try and stress myself about like finishing what I start. If I get started and I get halfway and that's all I have time to do or that's all I feel like doing, that's fine. I'll pick it up later. You know, I try not to, to stress myself be, that to finish something. If I just have fun making the cover, then that's enough for me for that day. Maybe another day I'll be making a bunch of ephemera and I'll feel like finishing it up and I'll do that. You know, um, sometimes my channel here is a little bit out of sequence because I just sometimes I just don't feel like working on that project anymore. <laughs> sometimes I don't feel like working on that project anymore. It's all slip around, it happens. Have you ever get creative blocked? Um, not for more than a day. If I do get creative block, I'll just look at print Pinterest and do something from Pinterest, you know? I don't have to be original all the time. I'm not trying to be like Van Gogh or something. I'm not trying to invent the wheel here. It's just fun to glue stuff together. So I try not to stress out about like, oh, I have to have an original idea every time. Sometimes I have an original idea. Sometimes I get credit to somebody else because they came up with it and I just want to have to do something that day. So, and sometimes, uh, definitely when I get a creative block, I move on. But like, for reals, if I'm working on journals, I have a bunch of journals that are like, in, I need to decorate them, but I just don't want to decorate them, so I'm not going to decorate. Sometimes that helps, and then the next week, I'll finish them all in a day. It happens. I don't know. It happens. Sometimes I had a lot of ideas, but I can express them to my crafts. It happens. It happens. But you know what? Wait a day or two, and then get back to it, and it'll come out, you know? I try and be creative every day, but I also don't try and, like, sometimes I will, but, like, most of the time, I really only get crafty here when I'm live, like, honestly. So, crafting one hour a day, that's, like, perfect amount of time for me to get something really good made. You know, if I was sitting here actually crafting all day, I might be, like, a little bored of it by the time I go live. So I really, just because, like I said, crafting one hour a day just, like, helps me get the best out, I think. I make a living because I sell printables. So that's most of my money right there is printables. But, um, yeah, that's what I pay my bills with. But I've also been doing it since 2011. So, I mean, I've been at it for a minute. Tina says I'm working on two journals right now, summer, and maybe just whip out my big shot and just make a whole bunch of die cuts. That sounds fun. I've done that too. I've done that too. Get out all your scraps. <laughs> Oh, you're making six of them, Letitia? You're on a roll, girl. You are on a roll. Love it. Hey, go for it, Dina. There's plenty to go around. Uh, 
here. And these ones are kind of like jagged edged. I'm going to try to get too like detailed with it, but there we go. <laughs> that works for me. Jen says she's working on her fall journal. Cool. You took some crafty stuff with you? That's smart. That is smart. These are so cute. From 1918, 1919, 1918. I love it, y'all. Everything looks so cute. It, it literally it looks real. I love it. it. Looks like play money, you know? It has like that look. I love it. You're not in Ohio, Jen? I'm so confused. What's going on? What is going on? I don't know. You're not. I don't know what's real anymore, Jen. <laughs> I don't know what to believe. <laughs> don't they? I, I would be fooled. I'm just kidding. I would be fooled. <sighs> yes, Letitia, please do. Please, please do. Have anyone ever. <laughs> and be laying in your bed trying to sleep without time, all the good ideas appear in your head. No. Ah! No. To me, no. <laughs> to me, when I'm tired, I'm tired. My brain is done. I have no problem falling asleep. I'm terrible. <laughs> I don't mean to, to um, brag, but I really have no problem falling asleep. Just knock out. <laughs> A very uh, healthy sleeping pattern. I don't think that's ever happened to me. No, once I'm in bed, like, unless I can't fall asleep. If I can't fall asleep, then I might come into my craft room and try to move some stuff around. <laughs> um, but, no. Not me. These look so cute. I can't wait to get my hands. I think what I bought was like vintage receipts and Something else. I can't, remember, I can't even remember what I bought. I think about like three or four things that day. I was I was on a shopping binge that day. I literally even had to be like Daisy. Like <laughs> I had to um, turn off notifications for that group because I kept seeing good stuff, but I was just like, no, you can't. Can't. Oh, did I just cut that corner? Wow, I did. Cut that little corner out. Oh my god. You have a book by your bed? That's awesome. That reminds me, I need to buy a bedside table. Oh my god. I need to go to Ikea. I really want to go on an Ikea trip. It just sounds like fun. But I don't know if at the holidays, I don't know if Ikea is busy. I don't know who buys Ikea for Christmas. I don't know. That'd be a big box under the tree. I finished cutting your printables today. My hand just about to, <laughs> is just about to fall off. Oh, that would happen. That would happen. Okay, let me get this receipt here. It looks so cute. I freaking love it. Is 
anyone get headaches while crafting? Um, I'm sure I have, not specifically all the time. Earlier I had a headache, but it's because I think last night I fell asleep on the couch for a couple hours. <laughs> so I think maybe that's why my head was hurting earlier. Actually, I wasn't crafting, I guess. I was on my computer. But, I mean, I was doing all this. To me, this is still crafting. I... It has to do with my crafting. Sometimes, mostly what hurts is my back, because I'm kind of, like, hunched over, you know? So, I try not to be a little hunchback. I have my back brace. If your back hurt, if you hunched over too much... You should get a back brace. I really recommend it. I love my back brace. Yeah, Letitia. Yeah, what Jen says. Sometimes that can hurt your your head. Yep, 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 yep. But definitely get a back brace. I'm going to finish all the pages. Oh, I realized I can cut those out. Hang on, hang on. Maybe this one is not arranged properly. So I'll have to make it a little crooked. You know what I want? I want toast with cream cheese and jelly. It sounds so good. These little receipts are going to look so cute in collages. I love the color. The color is so cute. <laughs> there. Oh, I can't wait to work with these digitally, y'all. So I really cannot. I cannot. There it is. Got a video game to play after I go live. Ah, I've been wanting to play my video game all day, but I've been like, no, Daisy, you gotta work, then you gotta go live, and then you can play. <laughs> trying to be here responsible adult here. I'm really trying. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. You have to stop crafting. I always get a headache when I craft every time I wonder why. Oh man. Talk to your doctor. They might might be your back or something. Okay, let's see. I literally I can't craft without my back brace. I cannot. It hurts. Oh yeah, huh? That's a good question, Patricia. Are you using a glue of some sort, of Violet? What glue? Maybe it's the glue. I don't know. 
You know, people say that uh, Fabric Tuck smells really bad. Glow stick. I mean, this doesn't smell, so I don't think it's that bad. I know, Violet. I really have to work hard at being an adult sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I do. It's true, it's true. Okay. One is so cute. Take a little letter and this postcard looks, oh my God, it looks so clear. Again, I scanned these myself, so they're really, really good quality. Hello, Tisha. Again, I get to scan the back and the front of these tickets, so that's why there's so many of them. But I love it. I love their color. They're going to stand out really nicely in a collage. I'm so excited. Probably collage tomorrow. It sounds like fun. Violet, I can see your comments. Um, you said Daisy laughing emojis. Can you see my comment? I got an error on the last comment. That's what I saw here. I freaking know what it is. My LED light is always on towards my face. Ouch. Ouch. Too bright, too bright. <laughs> Too, too bright. Okay, so this one I kind of tried to stick a lot of these stubs in. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Letitia. Oh, this one's a receipt for seven dollars and twenty nine cents. <laughs> All of these um, totals are for really small amounts, but I think back then they made like what, like ten cents an hour. I guess $3 would be a lot. And a little stuffs here. We're almost done. Are we doing the pages? I have a couple. So, did we see your comments or not, Violet? You okay? Are you sleepy? Why are you lying? Why you got your big old coat on? I was going to go get a smoothie. You're going to get a smoothie? You want a smoothie? No, I just had ch on a chocolate. Oh, okay. Okay. I've, what I've been wanting is some potato wedges, but I want to go to the one on Maryland. But don't worry about it because there's no smoothie place over there. Okay. Love you. Be safe. Yeah, sure. I'll be back. Okay.
if he wants to go get a smoothie. I'm just not in the mood for a smoothie right now. It's not smoothie time. <laughs> not for me. Um, Patricia, you have to explain to Daisy why I get headaches when I cry. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Am I missing the joke? <laughs> oh my gosh, Daisy, my mom art paid. Many men went adding her and sent her in. What? You think your print got sent to the wrong site? We just had cream in her page too. Whoa. What? That's weird. That's weird and not cool. Jenny got wine. I'm confused. What? Jen said wine emoji. That's all she said. That's all she said. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I'm like, what is happening? What? A I'm just like, who's drinking wine, Jen? <laughs> Huh. Yeah, I, I bet. That's weird, though. Glad you got it turned out. Boo boo. Boo boo. He's been such a sleepy boy today. I caught, he, like, when it's cold, he's so cute. He sleeps on the bed. When it's not cold, he'll sleep out here in the living room or my craft room here on the floor. But when it's cold, he wants to sleep on the bed. He's so funny. <laughs> he wants to look out the window now. Such a little weirdo. He's not in the mood to talk to you. What? What? <laughs> that one very much flung out of my hands. You worked on a page with a picture of a cat today. How cute, Jen? We gotta go back to journaling, but I don't really do much, so it's like, it's like what am I journaling about? I don't know. <laughs> Violet, I'm confused. Girl, what? I'm trying to figure out what kind of glue you're using, Violet. Now I see. Now I see the truth. <laughs> now I see the truth. Who was just looking out the window? He's just not even bothered with me right now. A little business card here for Wilson Studio. How cute is that? That looks so cute. Letitia says, How they got a new puppy a bed because she tore up the other one. Oh my god. Vicious puppy on the loose. That's crazy. Letitia is also confused. Okay, well, join the club, Letitia. I'm the president. 
become the president of the club. Oh, that confused. <laughs> I'm drinking too much coffee and I feel so giddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Me, yo, me and my husband, we kept stop watching 90 Day Fiance. We're like addicted to 90 Day Fiance. I got him hooked. <laughs> and now we love it. And we keep up with it together. So it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> okay, we go over here. Yep. January 31, 1919. <clears throat> A total of $2.31. Or is it 213? I can't tell. Oh, that's kilowatts. Okay. Okay. So it's like a light bill. Yeah, light, heat, and powered co. Okay. Now we know. So I was like, how is that $2? But it's kilowatts. Okay. We have been watching Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I know what Cheers is about because I watched a lot of, like, I love the 80s, I love the 90s <laughs> recap shows growing up. I never watched it myself, though. Oh, I'm so happy with this stash. Look how big this stash is. So, so much stuff. I'm so excited, you guys. Come back tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm still going to go live for like 10 more minutes, but tomorrow I'm going to collage. I feel like it's like collage time. <laughs> going to put some stuff together. I'm gonna do it. Every time I say I'm gonna collage, I end up doing like two collages in the hour because it takes time. <laughs> For me, it takes a little bit of thinking to collage. But this should be fun. <clears throat> yes, collage. My, whenever I put the word collage on my titles, I get, like, more views than normal. I don't know. The people love collage. They just love collage. They really do. They really, really do. Uh, tomorrow Saturday. Oh, my God. Tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> Patricia! You're right. <laughs> you are correct. Okay, well, awkward. <laughs> I could have sworn today was Thursday, Patricia. Honestly, honestly, I thought today was Thursday. You know, this is what happens when you don't leave your house. And you don't leave your house and you don't really even pick out the window. <laughs> Yo, my bad. I thought it was Thursday. So we'll see if I decide to go live. Sometimes, like, on the weekends, that is when I take my little, like, crafty break. And uh, sometimes I get a little anxious, like, I want to do something. But I'm like, you know what, Daisy, let your brain rest. Let your hands rest. And you'll get back to it on Monday. So I guess on Monday, I freaking lied. I'm sorry. Unless I really feel like it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. No promises. So on Monday... <laughs> We will collage. Okay, my goodness. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. See, Patricia says, Patricia says where she lives. <laughs> no, tomorrow is Friday. 
Girl, Patricia, you got me messed up. I almost see. I believe it. I would have believed you. No. My God. <laughs> uh, we're all confused today. That's okay. It's all right. It's all good. Tomorrow is Friday. So cool. <laughs> Tomorrow doing some collage. <laughs> Yay. I'm not as confused as I thought I was. <laughs> You're good, Patricia. You're good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She almost got me. She almost got me. She almost got me fired, y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Happens to me all the time, y'all. Okay, Violet. See you next time. Oh my gosh, so am I, so am I. I almost believed you, I mean, I literally 99.9% .9 believed you. <laughs> That's how sure I am of what day it is. <laughs> so I was like, I thought today was Thursday because it's my trash day. And I was thinking like, so if today's Friday and my husband didn't put the, he didn't get the trash in. <sighs> okay, good, okay. Okay. It happens. It happens. <laughs> it happens. My God, y'all. Don't forget to give me a little thumbs up, y'all, if you enjoyed the video. I know it was a very action-packed video here. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on <laughs> on today's video. Sometimes I just feel like cutting stuff out, you know? Who would have known this took an hour and a half to do? <laughs> now you know. Now I can put it in my um, item description that it takes an hour and a half to cut all these things out. I'll put a warning in the, just in the listing. <laughs> this is there action? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I, especially, you know, on the short ones, I'll put the scissors out. On the long ones, though, I want to use my paper cutter. Here. Damn, I thought I heard scratching. I swear this is what. He will scratch at my my bed. Underneath my bed, I have um, I have drawers. And I always leave one drawer open for him because he likes to go under the drawers. Oh, that's what I was going to tell y'all. So the other day, he was like crying and crying and crying because he wanted me to throw his toy, but I couldn't find his toys anywhere. Like he has like three cat wands that he like drags around. Everywhere. And I couldn't find them anywhere. And I was just like, what did you do with your cat wands? But he's like crying and crying, but I don't see them. And I told my husband, I, I said, you know what? I I wonder if he has them under the bed. And so my husband lifted off a corner of the bed, and this little cat had all of his toys. So the drawers say this is the middle of the bed. The drawers are on each side of the bed, and then there's this part in the middle that there's nothing. The drawers are here, and then there's part where there's nothing. This cat had the toys here in the middle part, and I was, like, going insane. Because he's like cry, 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 but like his toys are nowhere to be found. They're under the bed, like literally. <sighs> it's ridiculous, this cat. So at least like now I know, like if he, if I don't see his toys anywhere, look under the bed because that's where they're gonna be. It was ridiculous. He he had all of them, all of them were like. It's adorable. It's adorable. And I love him, but like, why does he do that? <laughs> why does he do that? I don't know. It's just a little weirdo. <clears throat> I had a cat that loves straws, and when we moved, we found like 20 of them in the closet. That's cute. That's funny. I My last cat had a thing with my hair bands. So I'd find my hair bands under stuff all the time. My hair bands. You could have bought that cat all the toys in the world, but he just, she just wanted to play with my hair bands. I like random pieces of paper on my floor. 
That does sound funny, dude. Oh my god. Straws. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, my last cat also liked bottle caps. So the plastic bottle caps. Oh, she would go crazy for plastic bottle caps. Crazy. Yeah, she yeah, she would do that. It's pretty funny. But they were like her favorite thing in the world to play with. Okay, good timing. We're at the very, very end here. I'm practically done. Got a nice stash here for tomorrow's um, collage. Collaging. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Officially excited. I had a porcelain doll and it would steal the little teddy bear. Wait, you had a porcelain doll and the cat, I assume, would steal the little teddy bear the doll was holding. <laughs> I, I almost read that and I was like, the porcelain doll would steal the teddy bear like you have like, a haunted doll. Like, but now I understood the cat. The cat is the it in that sentence, I believe. <laughs> Then we moved and we found our daughter's stash of pacifiers. You can imagine us buying more and not understanding a tired parent of my daughter. Gosh, that's fun. That is funny. That's funny. That's funny. I just had a feeling they were under the bed because they were nowhere to be found. <laughs> nowhere. Okay, I am pretty much done here. I only have this page left to do. But I do want to thank everybody so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you all so much for your conversation, for your company. And for your support of my shop, this set of ephemera is available in my store. Um, the link is in the description box below, and I'll also um, leave it as a comment. And like I said, tomorrow I'll be collaging. <clears throat> so do join me at the same time at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 12 a.m. Central Standard Time and 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, thank you all so, so much. I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good night. And uh, thank you all so much. Bye, you guys.